at just 12 years old, this young lady has a locker room filled with accolades. She has a natural talent for the arts, which span from singing to dancing and all the way through to modeling. Her artistic abilities gave her the opportunity to represent South Africa all the way in Hollywood. And I think it's quite safe to say that there isn't anything this young lady cannot do. And joining me on the TMS couch this morning is performer Giselle Niemant. Giselle, welcome to The Morning Show. Thank you so much. Look, is there really anything that you can't do? I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, congratulations on representing South Africa at the World Championships of Performing Arts. Thank you. Run us through that experience. What was it like? It was actually so amazing. And I met so many amazing people that were so kind. Mm. And like even from other countries, they yeah. still like rooted for you yeah. and like still wanted you to do good. So I think it's a really amazing experience. Yeah. And I think that if you have a talent and that if you want to achieve that goal, I think you must definitely enter um, South African championships. Oh, I love that. Look, what sort of your talents or which of your talents did you go and showcase at um, the world championships? Um, I did singing, okay. modeling, and acting. And how was that? Tell us more about your performance and the sort of things that you did during your performance. Well, like, I would say, like, even the people behind stage, they were very helpful, yeah. they were very nice, yeah. and, like, they didn't, like, rush around and be stressed. They were, yeah. like, really calm. Yeah. And they really, like, like believed in the contestants. And sure. I think it was just really amazing how I got to do like what I got to do. And how do you feel those things actually helped you with your performances, you know? Because sometimes when you don't get that support, it heightens your nerves, right? And sometimes yeah. you feel like you're not going to perform your level best. But yeah. to have those people supporting you, how do you feel it actually helped your performance? I feel like they made me feel that even if I mess up, they're still going to make me feel good about myself. So I got the courage to not really think about, am I going to do good or not? And I just ended up singing. Yeah, look, you dance, you sing, you model. Tell us about where it all started. When did you actually realize that you have all these talents? Well, I've been singing my whole life. Even sure. when I was a little girl, I used to sing with my little Bobby microphone in yeah. my playroom. Yeah. And like, even when we moved houses, um, our neighbor actually messaged my mom after we moved and she said, I miss Giselle singing in the morning. <laughs> um, but I started singing lessons in 2018 okay. um, because my mom thought I had a talent for it and she wanted me to see if I wanted to do it as a dream. And yeah. I started really, really liking it even more as to becoming a job. Yeah. And, you know, I can imagine that having your mom support you and continue to affirm you and tell you that you are good um, was also quite helpful, right? But did you yeah. go through um, training to further work on your talents? Um, I did. I do um, a lot of stuff after school. Okay. Um, I do a lot of singing lessons. Mm -hmm. I do ballet. Mm -hmm. um, I did acro for a while and I'm actually doing like dance, dance, like kind of hip hop now. Oh, lovely. Um, I do piano classes oh, um, after school. Sure. Um, so, yeah, I like, I really enjoy doing it. And like, I really can manage it very well because mm -hmm. I'm actually really excited. I even do acting classes and modeling classes sure. as well. <laughs> I think then that question comes again. Is there anything you can't do? But I think the one thing that comes to my mind right now is how do you balance everything? Because you're still in school, you still manage to act, dance, sing, do everything that you want and you're still excelling in school. How do you balance everything? Well, like, first off, I will start with my school and I'll, yeah. like, completely focus on my schoolwork. Yeah. Then after school, um, I obviously still have homework to do, so I'll do my homework and stuff. But then afterwards, it's full on my performances. So then I'll go straight into my singing. I'll go straight into my dancing. And I also, like, really love dancing, so I'll put on socks and I'll, like, do twirly whirlies in my lounge. I love that. Like, while I'm doing <laughs> homework. So, like, I do, sure. like, almost at the same time. Sure. I can't imagine that those random moments in your room or in the kitchen or in the house that you're dancing, right yeah how have you found your family to respond how do they respond when you're doing all these things i don't even think they really care i feel like they think it's cute <laughs> sure. i feel like they think that it gives them a feeling that i really do have a passion for it and that they're doing what's right for me yeah yeah look you've been on many stages you've also been on tv commercials you've just come from the world championships which of your talent is your favorite 
I think singing is my definite. Mm -hmm. I really, really, really enjoy singing. Okay. But I feel like if I can do the others, I'm going to do them. Yeah. <laughs> I really enjoy all of it. <laughs> so who then are some of the people that inspire you, be it between singing, acting, modeling, the people that you look up to that you feel inspired you and made you believe that you can actually do it? Well, I really, really do believe that my mom really inspired me because she really made me feel that I could do it. And I mm -hmm. felt like, if I mess up, I won't let her down. Yeah. So I really just went for it. Yeah. Tell us more about the relationship that you have with your mom. We know she's here. She's rooting for you. She's just like, yay, go Giselle. But tell us about the relationship that you guys have. Is she at every practice? Is she, you know, telling you what to focus on, what not to focus on? Tell us more about your relationship. Well, she always tries to encourage me to do a lot of practices. Yeah. So even after my singing lesson, she'll be like, okay, Giselle, let's hear you sing. Sing for oh, me. I love I'm that. Gonna sit on the couch. <laughs> and even when I'm done with my singing lesson and I come upstairs to get ready for bed, she'll be like, I love your singing. I could hear it all the way from upstairs. Yeah. And she'll always like make me feel good about it. Awesome stuff. That was 12 year old performer Giselle Niemann joining us right here on the morning couch. Let's take a break. We'll be back right after this.